Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 17. Mr. Blue here, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, here in the next few clips is the midnight prices that I forgot to put in. Just to show y'all where some of the money's been going. Look at those costs, folks. Look at those costs. That's been killing me. That's why I'm in debt so bad. Been doing a couple missions to help out, but that's still coming out. So, anyway, here's the rest of the video. Y'all enjoy. Whoa. Hey, everybody. What's going on? There's a truck here that don't want to turn. Whoa. Whoa. How y'all doing today? You're on Farming Simulator 17, folks. Blake Farms here. Uh, your host, but not the most, Mr. Blue, a.k.a. Tommy Miller. Folks, there's our canola and sunflowers. Sunflowers green, canola's almost ready, but well, it is ready. And here's our big field, number nine of barley that we got left. But we got beach rain. Last episode we was doing field 18, and we got a whole 13,689 out of that. And that's right there in the trailer. Kind of sugar around it. Uh, we have no place to park our trailer really, so we're going to park on the edge of the road here. We really don't recommend it. All that heavy weight, the dirt there could slide into the ditch, and well, that's how we have problems. But uh, like I said, uh. I think it was Colin brought the auger wagon down from that way to park it off the road and I parked the combine here. So we're going to get going. Um, yeah, got to. Let's fire this baby up. Go ahead and unfold. Raise our header up. Let's see here. It looks like all systems check kind of look dirty in here I have to get it cleaned uh, let's see uh, I think everything's set and ready to go I am going to make the first pass we got to square this fill up a little bit alright here we go got her in the gauge let's go for it whoa um This field not ready to harvest. I I do that for. Uh, let's see here. Let's get to our map. We'll go ahead and turn grass on too. It's showing us ready to harvest. Hmm. It's showing. Well, I'm glad I didn't bail off in there too much. Whoa, a little dip right there. <clears throat> Go ahead and back back across here and see what's going on here. No, I don't want to tear crops up too much. I'm going to stop right there. And get my good old moisture check checker out. Ah, not the chainsaw. Walk out here a little bit. 100% ready. Hmm. And there is barley. Put that away. That is odd. That is very odd. Uh, I don't have nothing in the combine. Maybe it's thinking I'm too close to sugar beets or something. Uh, 
And y'all see that? Now it's going to be straw out on the highway. Go, 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 go. Okay, not too... Whoa. Let's see that. It's got to be because I'm too close to that field. I bet you that's what it is. Okay, we'll, we'll just go this way and not worry about that. Alright, I want to generate a straight line here. And just hang with me, folks. It's not going to be that bad. At least uh, I hope. Um, and you can change these lines. You can do it like that there. But you can see them. And that's going to be going straight like that. And that looks pretty straight, so... We're going to go with that right there. And go ahead and... See, you can turn those lines completely off. Which is probably what we'll do. Alright, uh, F3 to get going here. We're going to do this AB line uh, next to this ditch here. We're going to make the first round ourselves because of the uh, AI worker will mess something up. They always do. So, uh, yeah. I can turn a AI worker off and then just go straight down like that. But uh, I think I'm just going to hang in here with it. Uh, let's see here. We can go ahead and get rid of that and just have that on. But uh, yeah, I just want to talk to you a little bit uh, while we're doing this. And. Uh, We'll probably have a fast forward episode on this if the rain holds out. Um, I still can't get the manure, liquid manure, out of that truck. And that's quite a bit. It's like 94,000 liters. And uh, I, I really don't want to use it. Now, there is another mod out there. And I thought I'd put it in here. But I did not see it. So what I'll probably do after this episode is, you know, go ahead and save everything, make the video and edit and stuff. And when I go to start back, I'm going to um you know put that mod in and replace it. Replace the one we got at the main farm shop now that I put the digestate and the slurry and all that stuff in and, and replace it with this other one because it's a uh, fuel liquid fertilizer and solid fertilizer that we get out of it instead of this uh, dry fertilizer and fuel we'll get an extra one and that looks a little bit better but uh so I'm going to replace that that's going to be upcoming um, also, you know, we got a lot of harvest to do. Um, I don't know if I can take out another loan or not, but I would like to buy another combine or lease one anyway, just lease an extra one. Uh, so, uh, we might be doing that on the next episode. Next episode... Let's see, this one's uh, episode 26. It's going to be coming out Friday. So, uh, episode 27 will be coming out Labor Day. So, y'all might not want to watch me on Labor Day, but I hope y'all do. And uh, happy Labor Day early in advance. Uh-oh. Auto save. Oof. Oh, we're quarter way fuel, a full already. There's our uh, blurter wagon over in the barn, and then we got our flatbed up here, along with our other small trailer. Uh, this is a big field, big field of barley. Um, I'm glad we bought it, because the outcome of this, you know, I wish I wrote down um, 
What is it? This is field nine, ain't it? Yeah, this is field nine. I did write it down. Blake Farm, right here. Field nine was 169,615. Now, I know I can't get that much out of this barley. Not unless we wait for a great demand. Great demand would be nice on it. But we're going to sell some. And uh, we're going to put some back in the grain. We're going to put fill the grain tank up which I think is 150,000 liters all it holds um, we're going to drop 50,000 at the chicken and then the rest of it we're going to put in our other grain tank out by the seed masters because uh, barley we can use it just about anything uh, make seeds feed the chickens uh, we need to take some to the pig area, put in the, uh, the pig food mixer. Even though we don't have pigs, we're going to try to get them back. I'm going to try to take out some mods because I got I got over 600 something. Yes, over 600 and something mods, like 650 something mods in my folder. And... I, I don't use all of them, so I, I need to get a lot of them out because they could be causing conflict. Oh man, I ain't going to be able to make it back. I'm just about halfway full. Woo! Going to be a good outcome. I just wish it would pay more for it. But there's our baler, our 6R up there with the the wind roller and the baler on it. And uh, I was going to mow this grass before we start, but I just don't have enough tractors and people right now. Uh, matter of fact, let's take a look at our map and get rid of that GPS thing real quick. Uh... Jacob is over on field 17 plowing. I don't know what happened to uh, Colin. He was over there too. Uh, he's done. It's um, well trying to get. He's right there. He must got done. Jacob's down here. Um, that's the only workers we got right now. Uh, Hurry up, hurry up. There we go. Get this map off. Alright, there we go. Back up, let that straw drop. And I really hate to do this, but I gotta turn around, so tromp down this grass and it's not tromping it too bad it's not be fully grown yet and I love this combat it kind of turns around um, yeah I want to try to get this money we're uh, We can uh, lease a combine. Speed things up, hopefully. Maybe I can talk to a custom mod and let them uh, we can borrow one or something. But, all right, it should be where I can hire a worker. see here I'm gonna go shift H I'm gonna turn this on first now I gotta hit it again I don't know why it takes everything All right, up and down let's hire a worker did it take oh I gotta be on that Detecting the field, which way that marker going to be on. Come on, hurry up and detect it. 
Oh, good. Good. It's on the right thing. Alright, what that's going to do is let me... Alright, there's Jacob. Yeah, I need to get him back in. I got the tractor out, but... Oh, that's what happened. Okay. Get that going back. And Junior's going to be driving it now. Gotta hurry up and get them done. I can take him off this ripper and put him on a mower. And uh, so this guy here will be going too. Yeah. Right, I'm looking for my. Ah. Huh. My 8530. That's 8530, folks, not 8030. See, 85. We got the souped up engine in it. And 8030. Oh, whoa. Yeah, I don't know how the AI is going to handle this right here. I think I can hurt me down here. So I can drive again. But folks, I think uh, I've been talking for 16 minutes. Good lord. So that's, that's why I do hour videos. Because if I done a, a 15 minute video, this is all I would be done. But anyway, I'm going to... The cut scene here. I don't know if it's going to be a fast forward or or, or what, but uh, I'm going to figure something out. Might do a time lapse. Can I make this turn? Oh yeah. I need to get some way of a course play to do this. speed up there we go um, good right there and we got Miss Sandra driving the combine all right Miss Sandra uh, soulfoodqueen.net I believe down below in the description folks go check her out along with Jacob Colin Bo and all the others you see on here uh, they will be down below in the description also. But yeah, I'm going to uh, do a little jump cut right here. And uh, I will see y'all back here in a second.
All right, folks. Hope y'all enjoyed that little time lapse there. <sighs> to you, it's not very long, but to me, it's time consuming. But I, I love playing the game, but you know, I sure wish I had that 45 foot header right now instead of this, uh, what is it, 35? Because it goes 35, 40, and 45. You know, I have seen it, well, not in person, but on YouTube. You see everything on YouTube, don't we? But I have seen a 60-foot header. And, of course, you know, these are wide open fields that go, you know, as far as you can see. You know, here we see tree lines, and so it, it wouldn't pay off to have one here. But they're out in the middle of, I guess, Kansas somewhere. And it's the really big header, folks. Big machine like this, too, like a class 9 machine. Alright. I like to back up just to, so the straw don't pile up in one. But, of course, we have the, the, uh, the wind roller thing over there that you know does a good job of getting the big lumps too so oh it's gonna miss it's gonna miss I didn't let it down time or catch the GPS in time alright um I got this little edge here cut out. I want to get a little bit more, you know, like going around the tree line and stuff in this episode. So I'm going to do a actual complete cut because I'm like 30 minutes in, but I did do the time lapse, which probably bring it down to about 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to uh, cut it here, knock this out right here, and then I'm going to get over to that tree line. And do have one complete ramp, you know, a through all the way around this field so y'all can see that. If the rain holds up, so yeah. Uh, but anyway, I'll be right back in a second for y'all. Alright, be right back. Alright, folks, we are going around the edges like I was saying. Got down here to the end. I've got the uh, AI worker going right now. I'm just going to see how he does. Or excuse me. Uh, well, uh, Burst Video 573. Burst Video 573 and 7 stars. 7 stars is in the, the wagon back there. And uh, just to uh, clarify, we got Jesse and Jacob. Over on the 17, doing the last through. So, uh, yeah. Plowing's going to be uh, done over there. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. I hung on a tree. That doesn't take long. Alright, I'm going to do it myself now. I hung something there. Those old bitty tiny trees. What it do, the map maker takes a full tree like right there. Oh, I got to check that. But he takes a full tree like that right there and he lowers it halfway into the ground just to do the top half sticking out. That's the second train done come through while I'm recording. While, one while the time lapse is going. And another one. Anyway, let me set my speed right there and try to look at my phone and drive too. Uh-oh. No texting and driving up hill, right? I just got to make sure it's not a fire call. Uh, Chief at Luxor is at work. I'll say it was pretty quick. Uh... The fire chief of Luxor is at work. The fire chief at Burdett is out of town. And he took one of the fire members with him. 
that's usually here during the day and uh, everybody else is working so I'm basically on call for both departments which there probably be a few people show up it, you, you never know you know out of 20 people it's hard to keep up with everybody all right now I'm about what halfway maybe halfway and I have to unload this thing before it gets full uh, Jacob's blocked by object yeah 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 I know I know uh, my wagon yeah my wagon's still behind me. I gotta find a good spot where I can uh, kind of cut out little areas so I can get the uh, auger wagon up here beside me oh I'm gonna scratch Ooh, that was lucky Oh, oh, okay, they're inside. <laughs> okay, I'll go back to this for you. Well, if I can make it right up there, it looks like a pretty good spot. We actually need to trim some of these trees back so we can get around here real good. Wintertime coming up, big limbs and stuff falling off of them, so... I need to go stop those two tractors, but I guess I can do that real quick while I'm unloading. Yeah, I know teleporting and stuff's not realistic, but it, it it's kind of hard keeping up with everybody. You know, if you're driving a combine, you can't keep up with everybody because you got to keep up with yourself. Yeah, this looks like a pretty good spot right here to me. Put this long, you know what, auger out and let's see what we got. Nope, 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 nope. We'll have to cut a spot out. So, uh, let's just stop him right there. And, uh, let's finish this out to the end here. We'll back up and grab us another bite. All right. Don't hit the tree, Mr. Blue. I need to be called Mr. Green. With all the green John Deere's we got. All right, we're just gonna cut this little bite right here. My buttons getting with her, getting sticky. Well, not sticky, but not wanting to work. All right. And that should do it right there. That's where I wish I had somebody else helping me with this. But then again, that goes back with the mods. You know, I can't have 600 mods in a server. It, it would cost a forty dollars or more for that server. No, actually, you can get a server for about five dollars. Where uh, it'd be on little server you know we can uh, get I think one server is four people so make sure yeah I got it and once again in case you're new where it says manual pipe unloading on which is the third one down from the top there uh, you have to hit R to unload which I, I, I hate it. Uh, I don't know what it is. One of the updates made it that way. But if it's got an exclamation. It'll say off. If it's got an exclamation mark beside of it. While it says off. And you go hit R to turn it on. Your crops is going on the ground. Alrighty. Unloaded. 
see here. Let's put the auger back in. And go ahead and let her head her down. And we'll get back going. I'm going to turn this curve right here and see if the AI worker will handle it from right there to, long enough for me to put the buggy back on follow me. Hopefully it will. Like I said, we're trying to beat the rain here. Come on, buttons. All right, good. Oh, he's getting up close to those bushes there. Don't knock an auger off, whatever you do. <laughs> Back when I was young, I mean young. Probably, uh, I don't know, 20, 20 to 22 years old. Uh, first farmer I worked for. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, one of them, there was three of them. And, uh, one of them would leave his pipe out and he was just uh unloaded off of uh you know onto the bob truck that we had and uh he left his auger out and was going into the next field and he's going down beside the ditch there to do the ends and uh his telephone pole wasn't paying no attention. He's paying attention to the, the ground because, you know, making sure no rocks and nothing go up in the header. And uh, wham! He's like, I didn't know what that was. Well, that would have been a good place for the shark to turn around. I should have went up down this way a couple of times. Now, this is going to be tricky because it says I don't own the field because I planned it out too far. But let's let the AI worker do it and see if he can thrash it. So I say, please don't go out on his field. Big old field of sugar beets. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, no, 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 no. Stop. Stop. Uh, I got them on back and forth. That's got to be in a circle. And that's got to be that way. Boy, we just ran over some of his sugar beets. He ain't gonna, he's going to be beating me, but he ain't going to be sugar. Alright, maybe the AI worker will get it. So far, so good. Because they can detect the field boundaries better than I can. Um, we'll probably just keep on going around in a circle. That way our pipe be on the same side every time. Might cut out the little thumbs. I call them thumbs. But, um, yeah, folks, I, I guess, um, I really don't know how, oop, got sugar beets in our field. I really don't know how much time I got left. Uh, the other was like 30-something minutes. I uh, already been 10, so, uh. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut this episode short. And uh, I'm going to let this guy work on his own going around the whole field a couple more times so we have good headlands. What are you doing? Get out of his field. Whoa, whoa. Don't you do ours. You, you, you better straighten up. Who is that? I can't, I can't tell. Make the map bigger. I see World War Three gaming. 
Ah, come on. World War III Gaming is in the combine. Let's see who's in that grain buggy. No star reviews. Oh, no. No, no. It, it, he wouldn't do that. But anyway, folks. Uh, some of the AI workers are really, really nerve-wracking. If this works all the way down to the end, I'm going to back the semi-truck in here. Or probably, well, yeah. Probably back in right here. And, uh, so we can off, be off the highway. I should have had the flashers on that truck. Oops. I don't know, YouTuber uploaded a video. Alright, good. We got that out of the way, so. Um. Sorry, no star, uh. No star reviews. I had to stop you there for a minute, and I'm gonna take over right quick. And gonna cut this corner right here just a little bit. Just like that right there. And then we're going to go down through here, GPS. And let's go ahead and hire a worker. That way we can unload. get him uh, loaded into the semi truck well folks uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut the video here so uh, be sure and go down below in the description and check out all the other youtubers uh, you know they they really help me get where I've been they help me with the watch time and stuff like that and and being there when I had questions and stuff and each one played a good part and I believe they would probably do the same for y'all so uh I think my phone's busy so yeah go down below and check it check them out if you want to uh make sure you leave a like for me if you like this video and if you're new subscribe you know what you got to lose you know you know, always unsubscribe later if you don't like it or what I do if I don't like a channel or something or which there's very rarely you know I like all of them that's being honest too uh, everybody's got a different little place you know like maybe one day you'll be like oh hey yeah, I need to watch that you know just like a day Kentucky farmer I, I he ain't I haven't seen a farming video from him in a little bit, so uh, uh, I, I needed to remember something about course play. So I went over to his channel, and sure enough, you know, he after me out again. But um, I forgot to look, see who's coming. Fire this bad boy up, and might have enough room to turn around out there. I would back in, but that'd be a lot of time there. But yeah, uh, subscribing to somebody is not going to hurt nothing. Um, it don't hold nothing against you or anything. If you just you know click on the subscribe and and uh, go on about your business. Uh, if you really want the to. to uh, how can I say it? You know, watch a you like say, for example, uh, 
No Star Reviews. You really like his channel and stuff, hit that bell on him. That way you get notifications every day. Just like for me. Uh, hit that bell, folks. That way you'll see my... Hopefully you'll see my videos every day. YouTube's kind of... Uh, what's the word for it? Iffy. I gotta get back, catch up to them. Probably have to unload them again. We might get this feel halfway done before the rain hits. I hope. Oh, it'd be nice to get it done before the rains, but I ain't holding my breath. All right, here, pulling up. I really ain't got that much to unload, but I want just in case, you know. But anyway, folks, um, like I said, check out the other YouTubers. Uh, leave a like, share me with your friends if you uh, think I'm that uh, good and stuff. And uh, don't forget, I got a PayPal account down below and a GoFundMe account. I'm saving up. Either one of them I'm saving, but I'm saving for a new computer. I want an i7. Uh, I got i3 right now, and I want i7 so I can game more and do live streams. Right now, it's hard to do live streams because it's so laggy. Computer just can't handle it. I got good internet services just because I can upload an hour video in probably 30. 30 to 35 minutes uh, if it's acting right but anyway I, uh, you know if everybody chipped in and, and gave a dollar I would have $520 if everybody chipped in and gave a dollar so just think about that I think that's the minimum you can do anyway but uh, not begging for money just saying you know it would help support my channel and my channel is seriously going to be needing a computer soon well not soon but you know what I mean plus my microphone went out and I had to go to my webcam microphone and it's just small stuff that would really help out the channel and uh oh yeah we got 30,000 in the piggyback up here so uh we are getting quite a bit barley but anyway folks I'm rambling on so y'all have a great day a blessed day and I'll see you tomorrow somewhere or another later folks